Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome. I am a style and mindset coach and I help women go from stuck and overwhelmed and frustrated with their wardrobes to a place where they absolutely love getting dressed. They can create outfits with confidence and they can really just feel good about the fabulous functional wardrobe that they have in their closet. Uh, today, I am going to address my own wardrobe. I want to mention quickly that I do work one-on-one -on -one with clients. Style Therapy is my one-on-one -on -one style coaching program. The link in the description box will take you to the page that will tell you all about it. If you would like to set up a free consult call, I would love that. I am really good at helping women create wardrobes they love wearing. I don't believe that style has to be complicated or expensive, and I don't believe that we should overlook the fact that our wardrobes affect our well-being. So the faster we can get this handled, the more it can create a ripple into the rest of our lives so that everything else can be elevated as well. Uh, okay, so today I have pulled pretty much everything out of my closet. There are still a few things in there, or there are a couple bins that I'll address that are not visible right here. A little while back, I did a video on uh, creating your own designer line or kind of looking at your wardrobe and what you wear most often throughout a season or the month as sort of a, a designer collection. Uh, thinking like a designer when you put that together so that the pieces are cohesive and they all um, play nicely with each other and the outfits are easy to create and you, you love the color palette for the season and all of that. And then I realized that that wasn't actually happening in my own wardrobe. I mean, the color palette, pretty much you can see that I do have a pretty cohesive color palette. I have too many clothes. I have too much in my wardrobe for right now. And in Colorado, it feels a little more frustrating maybe than other places I've lived, but we have such a long winter, cold spring situation that the summer clothes don't come out in April or May like they did when I lived on the East Coast of the US. So then as it starts to get really warm, I'm left with clothing that I can't really wear now that hung around like this fuzzy sweater that hung around because it was still chilly and it was a good cardigan to pull on. And now it really doesn't work for the temperature, you know, that it is currently. And I haven't gotten rid of it. And I mean, I haven't moved it out. I don't want to get rid of it. I like it, but I haven't moved it out to put it in storage. And I don't like it when my wardrobe just feels overwhelming. And I also wanted to really, I've never done a capsule wardrobe per se. And I really, after doing the research and talking about the designer collection idea, I really wanted to see if I could make that happen in my own wardrobe. And if for you know 30 days, I could really pull just what I really wanted to wear for those 30 days and have it be kind of a little capsule. So to do this, this is kind of, you know, flying by the seat of my pants. I have not put a whole lot of time into drafting, you know, how this is going to work and I haven't scripted this in any way. So I appreciate your bearing with me. I am really doing this on the fly because I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, which I plan to, I want to capture it so that I could share it with you so that maybe it would be helpful in your own wardrobe, seeing how I kind of do this. Um, and I really, now that I look at it, I see so many things that are way too warm. And yes, there's the consideration of I'm in air conditioning. I'm thankful that my home is air conditioned. So it's a different temperature inside than it is outside. If I'm out running errands, I might need layers because it might be chilly where I'm headed, like Costco's refrigerator section and warmer, you know, where in between in the car and all of that. And if I'm working with clients, I need to be able to look professional and presentable, but then also shed a layer if we start, if I start to get warm as we're working together. Um, Zoom, you know, online uh, client appointments, I need to look professional. So I, I'm trying to pay attention to what I actually need because it will not only be tank tops, I do need some layering pieces and this is just too much. I'm never going to wear this in the next 30 days and I would like to see what happens if I really pull out just the pieces that I'm going to wear and kind of hang them separately. Uh, and you know, do the work that I do with clients and suggest to clients and have suggested in the video here uh, on the designer collection. So that's what I'm gonna do now and I'm gonna talk through some of it and if it starts to feel too long, I'm going to you know, just kind of work through it and then um, share it with you at the end. I'm, like I said, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go. I just know I have too many clothes. So first I start with, as I just kind of ran through, what do I do during the week? What what clothing do I need? What are the activities that I do that I need my clothing to support me in? And then I realize, okay, well, I don't need 26 date shirts because I'm not going on 26 dates, you know, over the course of this month. And so I can really be selective about what I'm pulling. 
And I'm going to try to be really honest and not do this with the fantasy life in mind. Like, well, if I were the best version of myself, these are the things I would wear. I'm gonna try to be a little more real than that because I think that that's going to be helpful for me and hopefully helpful for you to see how that works. So without further ado, let's just get to it and um, see how it goes. First, I will say that the pieces that I have on are pieces that I am wearing and really enjoying. This is um, a little linen top with some cute little detail in the back that I thrifted a while ago. You might've seen that in the thrifting video. And uh, these kind of gauzy pants are from Old Navy. And I actually really love them. I'm gonna chat more about them in a few minutes. So let's start here. So first we have my scarf rack. Most of the scarves that I wear in the winter have been put away because I knew that I wasn't going to wear those colors and textures throughout the summer. However, these are still not being utilized and it's because it's too hot. I mean, it's just not conducive weather to me wanting to grab a scarf. So most of me thinks I could put these away for September, October when the weather starts to change and the mornings might be crisp or the evenings would be crisp. Now that said, I probably will leave out at least one. I don't write this second know which one. It's probably going to be one of these two. Um, I will leave out one of them in case we were, this is a little fantasy life here, in case we were to go to the mountains for a weekend or I was going to go out in the evening and it was actually a cooler evening, which does start to happen over the summer. You know, there is a definite change in the evening temperature where it can be warm for a while and then all of a sudden it'll drop and, and really cool off. And so I might keep one of these two out, but I think the rest of them I'm going to make sure they're clean and then pack them up for the early part of the fall because they're just, it's what I consider like invisible clutter or silent clutter rather, it's not invisible, I can see it. Silent clutter where every time I look in my closet, I'm kind of stressed out by the fact that I'm not wearing the scarves, only then to have the mental dialogue of, well, of course I'm not wearing the scarves because it's 100 degrees outside. So I think if I just get them out or most of them out of my closet, it's just going to feel better for me. So for right now, I'm just gonna drop them on the floor there. Uh, next, okay, this t-shirt. I thrifted this a while back. I actually really love it. I just haven't worn it yet. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna create a little maybe um, spot. So that's a maybe. I don't know if that'll earn a spot in um, the capsule that I'm gonna wear right now. The reason that I'm hesitant is because most of me thinks that I would prefer this with a cardigan or a blazer over it. It's a little bit um, smaller than I would like. It, it fits fine, but it's not, it doesn't have any drape or it's not oversized in any way. So this with jeans is not going to feel super authentic because I like things that are a little flowier. However, with a blazer over it, it is going to feel authentic because I like a graphic tee with a blazer. So that's why I'm hesitant as to whether or not it's actually gonna go in the capsule yet. Uh, okay, this one. I actually really love this blouse. I love the color. It's really soft and drapey. I'm gonna keep this one in the capsule um, for this time right now. Uh, this one, I actually love this too. It's honestly a little thick. It does have a three quarter sleeve, which I don't do many of, but the last time I wore it, I was pretty warm in it. it it's not heavy, it's cotton. It's just that if I'm looking at all of my options, I'm just not sure this one's gonna make it. And I red isn't the color that I grab most often, so I think this one's gonna go uh, I'm gonna just make a nice little pile on the floor. That one's gonna go away until we get into fall. This one, however, is really lightweight. It's a little pinker, kind of has a watermelon um, color to it. I was gonna say flavor. I don't think it tastes like watermelon. Uh, has more of a watermelon color to it. I actually love this blouse. This is an old anthro blouse. This one I am going to put in here because for a Zoom call, it's pretty. I could wear it to a client's home. That one works. This little Bowden t-shirt, I actually really like this. It's a similar situation to the I Feel Good t-shirt because I probably am going to like it better with a blazer over it than I am by itself. So I'm gonna put that in the maybe so that at the end I can decide which ones make it. This cotton cardigan actually I do like in the summer. I like, because it's cream. I like it because it's cream. I like it because it's really easy to wear. It's a little heavy as far, you know, it has to be a pretty cool morning to put this on or pretty chilly air conditioning but it's a good finisher for a lot of the layers that I am gonna save. So I'm going to put that one in the keep pile. This is an Eileen Fisher uh, linen shirt that was packed in my suitcase, so it's looking a little crinkled. This I actually do love, so I'm going to keep this one in the capsule. This is another Eileen Fisher recently thrifted. I have not worn this one yet. I'm trying to decide if I am going to shorten it because it feels a little long for me. It feels a little tunicky. So I'm gonna keep it out because I'm going to try it uh, the length that it is and then I'll know if I need to shorten it. 
This one also really pretty for um, anything I'm doing online, whether it's you know a Tuesday Instagram or creating YouTube videos or um, seeing a client. So I'm gonna keep this one out too. As you can see, blouses are feeling kind of authentic in the air conditioning just as a one layer. This one I also thrifted earlier and then I just have not worn it yet. It is a little, it's not flannelly, but it's a little heavier. So most of me thinks that realistically, it's so much fabric, I'm probably not gonna wear it until it gets cool. So I'm going to add that to the pile of save till later. This is the date shirt that I have not yet worn. That one's going to be saved because I'm hoping to go on a date. This blazer I do, I was just kind of toying with this earlier, thinking about what things to keep. This blazer I do think I would wear with a little tank under it on a Zoom session or uh, to shoot a video or even to you know put on with jeans and go out to do something. So I, it's just, it's one of my favorites. It's really lightweight, feels kind of like pajamas as it looks. So I think I'm gonna keep that. And this one I'm gonna put here because I'm not sure it's gonna be the best one to put under the blazer, but I'm gonna put the blazer with the sweater so that those are sort of the uh, third pieces. This one I have worn a decent amount. I thrifted this one. Uh, it has that cute little tie at the bottom. So I'm gonna keep this out. It's really lightweight, feels good, easy to just grab and go. This little top I've worn a lot. It is from Old Navy several seasons ago. It's linen. I actually really like the detail. I have not worn it this season. I used to wear it to anthro a lot with you know different bottoms. I think that I will still wear it because the cream linen is still my vibe and feels like my designer collection. So I am going to put it here and then when I assess this at the end, I will decide. This top I love. I just have a lot of other options right now that I think I would pull first, as you can see. So I don't think I will wear this until the fall. It makes me kind of sad. I feel like I need to get dressed more often because I really do like this. All right, now I've talked myself into maybe. This sweater, I really love, it's heavy. So this one I'm gonna put away. This is my Cezanne sweater that it took me a while to invest in. I absolutely love it, but I know I'm not going to wear it this summer just because it's too warm for it now. So I'm gonna tuck that one away. This is pretty lightweight, nice alternative, you know, to not as fabulous as the um, cream Cezanne one, but it's a nice alternative. So I am gonna keep this one out because it's a good pullover. I love the stripe. It's a nice lightweight. This one I do wear, and I'm not sure if this one is a lazy go-to for me. If I pull this one because I don't feel like branching out into the brighter color or trying to figure out about the length of the new Eileen Fisher. And so I'm gonna put this in the maybe because I'm not actually sure what my real feeling is about this. It's kind of a default. It's easy, I know how to wear it, I know what, look, what it looks good with, I know it's comfortable, I know I can work in it, and I'm not sure if that should be what I'm pulling most often. This I actually just wore recently. I like this little striped t-shirt. It's cool, it's comfortable, I can wear it with shorts if I'm just hanging around the house. So I am going to keep that one in my little collection. This one also is kind of a lazy go-to, uh, and I just don't feel like I'm getting dressed as often as I would need to in order to have all of these clothes, which even as I say it, I realize my clients all have largely have that same issue where they would have to change their clothes a couple times a day. I don't know if that's um, ringing true for you, that there's just not really any way you could wear all of your clothing in a season, in which case we really need to pay attention to what are my favorite pieces. And so I really like this pink top. I don't own much pink and it's, not flannelly, but it's a little thicker, so I don't believe I'm going to wear it this summer. So I'm going to put that one in the for later pile. Uh, this sweater I like. I always feel a little nerdy when I put it on. Uh, I like it over sundresses, which I have not been wearing sundresses very much. And I'm not sure I would reach for it before I would reach for this really plain cardigan. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile because I do like it in the fall when I need a layer, when it's getting a little chillier but now in the summer, I'm just not sure I'm gonna put it on. This I actually really like, recently thrifted Eileen Fisher, ironed and ready to go. That one I'm gonna keep out. Uh, these are three of the exact same little camisole. They're all just like this one. Uh, I had one from Target. I've worn it a lot, I've snagged it. It's starting to show some wear. So before they got rid of it, I wanted to make sure it's a new day is the brand. I wanted to make sure I had a backup. And so when I ordered it, I ordered it in black and in this really pretty kind of steel blue. I think it was about $18. And I'm glad that I have all three because I love it under cardigans and under blazers and, and under pullovers, just as a nice layer as it starts to get cooler in the fall. Uh, and it's not staticky. I have 
thrifted a couple that have been really staticky. So this one is not, so that's why I decided I was going to invest in it. So I'm going to keep all three of these out because I would wear any one of these on a date with a little blazer over it and a pair of jeans and a little pair of sandals or shoes. So I'm going to keep all three of these out. They all three deserve their own hang -up. This I recently thrifted from Rags. Uh, I have not worn it, as you can tell, because the tag is still on it. But I really like it and I'm gonna keep it out and um, nudge myself to wear it because it's a pretty blouse. I was a little concerned about the whole, I'm kind of old school and I do let my bra strap show and it doesn't bother me. But on this one, because it's so sheer right there with the lace, the bra strap is really obvious, even with a nude bra. And then I decided I liked it enough that I don't care. So if you see me in it, you will see my bra strap and I hope you don't care either. This one I have just recently, this one's on a different hanger. This one I have just recently worn and had a lot of fun in and got a lot of compliments on. I thrifted this from Salvation Army. It was literally under $5. It was a 50% off clothing day. I think it was maybe three bucks. It really did not need to be ironed. It came out of the wash, I hung it up, and then it really just dried as it is. The collar's gotten a little wonky hanging there. Uh, it feels like an old dish towel or something, but I kind of love it and it's really great with denim. So this one's staying out because it's kind of fun, it's very different, and it's sort of the showstopper piece in my capsule while it still goes with everything. Okay, this one I'm keeping out also. I actually really like this. This you might have seen on an old thrifting video. It's Uniqlo, and it was very long, and I hemmed it. I, I'm not some super seamstress, but I do know how to hem. And so I literally chopped it off and folded it under, ironed it, and stitched it. So this I actually like because it's a little out of my wheelhouse, but it's fun with all the bottoms, whether denim or um, olive green or navy. I like this top with it, so I'm gonna keep that one out. And then this one is also thrifted, great little knit t-shirt, uh, tank top rather. I'm gonna keep that one out. This one I don't think, I, I like this, and it's really great with a black blazer or a cream sweater. I just don't think I will pull this one before I'll pull the solid ones if I were going on a date when I'm going on a date. So I'm gonna put that one away till fall. This one I've actually really enjoyed lately. It's a great weight for um, the air conditioning and, and for my office in the house. And it's actually really pretty on. It feels kind of girly with the little scallop at the bottom. It's from Old Navy this past um, like early spring. And I'm, I'm liking this one. So this one's gonna stay out too. As you can see, I'm kind of color coordinating as I go here and working from light to dark with sleeve length. I don't know if um, we've chatted about that before, but I go uh, sleeve length, so sleeveless, and then kind of a shorter sleeve or wider, you know, sleever, wider sleeveless, and then uh, short sleeve and then longer sleeve by color, and then the third piece is at the end, just so you have an idea of what I'm doing there. This one actually nice, it's a sanctuary, just uh, kind of utility jacket and this I actually wear a decent amount. I like this one. I'm going to keep this one out because it's a nice lightweight um, just as a layer in air conditioning or if I'm going to a client's. This is another um, version of, you know, similar version of that jacket. This was Greta's and she was giving it away and I dug it out of the pile. And so uh, this one probably needs to be steamed or ironed. I like the full sleeve. It's a fall piece though, really, because it's a little bit thicker than this one and I don't need two in my wardrobe right now. So this one I'm going to tuck away till fall. It'd be cute with that little striped uh, camisole I just put down there. This one also just feels dark for summer. I could wear it. It's the same as the green one, only camo. I don't wear camo that often. Um, and so I'm gonna put this one away. I do like it in the fall when it feels a little colder and I want the darker vibe. This one definitely stays. I love this blazer. Just wore this recently. Uh, it's just nice over everything and it's a good weight. Uh, let's see. This one is my new loft recently thrifted uh, navy blazer. I don't know that I'm gonna wear it again until it gets cooler. It's lined and it's a little bit thicker, so my guess is this one's going to go. Just put this one up here at the front. This is the same thing. I love this new thrifted black blazer, uh, but I'm not, this one is just a little too heavy for now. I'm going to save that one until the fall. This blazer still has the tags on it, embarrassingly, and it's from Anthro. I bought it shortly before I was finished there because I knew Anthro doesn't get classic blazers very often, and I knew that I was going to want it. It is a really nice lightweight black blazer. It is lined, but it's really, really nice weight. So I'm gonna keep this in my wardrobe and really push myself to wear it. And maybe I've even said that here before, but I feel like it will go with a lot of things in here if I were going 
out for dinner, you know, I could easily put it over one of these little camisoles with a pretty necklace and a pair of jeans and it would be great. Hello. So once I completed my closet project, I realized that the video was going to be way too long. So I cut it in two parts. You have just watched part one. Part two will come out next Friday where you'll see me wrap up the entire project of editing my closet and creating my own kind of designer capsule. I did finish, I have cleaned up, everything's been put away. So you've only seen that first part. So thank you for being patient. I, it just seemed like way too much to show all at once. So the next part will come out next week. So just stay tuned.